gonna break this down into three steps. So make sure you guys follow along so that you do not forget a step because you don't want your hair looking boop, busted. Fatty, 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 woo! Hello, beautiful people. It's your girl, Matt Givens, back with another video. So y'all, I'm extremely excited because today I'll be showing you guys my curly to straight natural hair routine. So I actually have like a three-step process, which is what I'm going to be showing you all. So just starting off, I know you guys see I have my bonnet on. I just really woke up and everything, washed my face so I can make this video for y'all, okay? But basically what I like to do before I even wash my hair and all of that is I like to moisturize my hair. So I actually like deep condition it, then I wash it, then I'll rinse it and do all of that and then I flat iron it and so on and so forth. So I like to start off by using this all natural hair oil. I don't know if you guys can see, but anyways, this is an all natural hair oil that I get locally. It's actually handmade from a local holistic shop. So I put this hair oil on my hair and then what I do for everyday use is I just use the Jamaican black castor oil strength and restore conditioner. I usually like to co-wash my hair most of the time. If you guys do not know what co-washing is, it's basically when you use conditioner to wash your hair instead of shampoo and it just helps like with breakage and stuff like that because it's so easy for hair to get dried out and broken off especially during the winter time so I also have these two new hair conditioner packets that I'm going to be trying I'm gonna just be trying one of them out today but this main club I have tried one of their products before and I liked it decently but I'm gonna try another one just to see if I really really like it this kind of is speaking to me y'all I'm not gonna lie it kind of looks like the evil eye a little bit so I'm gonna try this one it says cry baby when your hair mask says repairing but you're still broken on the inside that's actually very interesting saying okay well but wait hello before we even get started I know your subscribe button is not still red why are you watching my channel with my video and the subscribe button is red like come on now I know you want to be a part of our family this is a family okay I love y'all for real like help your girl out I love y'all thank you but anyways y'all so I'm about to take my bonnet off my hair looks kind of crazy but this is just what my hair looks like like I said I've co-washed my hair and I've just been wearing my hair in a bun so that's why my hair looks like this because I literally just gel the edges every day when I wake up what I do is I put my conditioner with water and I just put it all over my head and then I gel the edges and this is what you get so yeah that's why my edges look like this of course I'm about to shampoo my hair and everything like that after I deep condition it so right now I'm going to open one of these packets up and put my oil on my hair as well as the conditioner I always use this conditioner so I think I'm gonna just use this one instead like I said, y'all, I break this down into three steps. So make sure you guys follow along so that you do not forget a step because you don't want your hair looking boop, busted. So for step one, what I'm going to do is open this conditioner packet and then we have our hair oil as well. I have a shower cap <laughs> and a comb. So I'm not going to use, I'm not, I don't know why I got, I don't know why I'm doing. Y'all, just come on now. This is really like, I don't do hair tutorials, okay? Bear with me. Let me start off by doing my hair oil first. And I really like to take my hair oil around my edges because I'm looking in the mirror. Sorry, y'all. But I like to take it around my edges because that's where I have the most like damage and break off and stuff like that, as you can see. And a part of that is because, you know, I'm wearing my hair in these ponytails and stuff. And it's just getting so slick. So I want to make sure that my edges have oil on them so that they can grow nice and strong. And I want to do this. You want to do this when your hair is dry because the oil is going to be hard for oil to really penetrate through your scalp and through your hair and stuff like that when your hair is wet. So this is why I do this to start off my deep conditioning process. And so, yeah, so I just put hair oil ooh, all around your edges like this. Oops. And I love this hair oil, y'all. It smells good. It really works. And it's all 100% natural. So it's really good for your hair, for your skin, everything. I also take a, a few squirts just, you know, in your scalp too and you just kind of want to moisturize it into your scalp moisturize it into your scalp and like i said this is very important for the step one process because you want to moisturize your hair before you strip it all out with the heat and everything like that y'all that's like very damaging for your hair so you just want to protect it as much as you can for as long as you can and then just kind of massage 
hair oil into your scalp so you just want to massage that oil into your scalp like so now I'm gonna co-wash my hair which you guys are already very familiar with I just opened up this packet and so I'm gonna take the conditioner and I am going to mix it with water you see the water dripping so I'll put this conditioner all in my head and again you want to use like a little amount of water y'all just because like I said I don't want my hair too wet right now you don't want your hair drenched like you know what I'm saying so that's why it's easier to co-wash my hair like this than if I were to get in the shower and do it that method because I just feel like this allows more conditioner and product to really sit on your hair while it's you know a little bit more drier you know what I'm saying just not as drenched so it could really really work wonders for your hair and y'all let me tell you something hey I am not a professional, okay? Let me just disclose that I have had a lot of hair fall out though, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Obviously not due, not due to this routine because y'all gonna be like, girl, why would I listen to you? But no, y'all, I've had a lot of hair fall out because of stress, all type of stuff. So my hair was thinning out and it was falling out, but it's starting to grow back, you know, and get thicker and a little bit more longer and fuller. And a part of that is because of that hair oil as well. I was using that hair oil when I had braids and stuff and I did notice a big change a significant change a significant difference in my hair you don't want to use this entire packet because you're actually going to use this again for step two so make sure you guys stay tuned for step two put it in the front as well on top of that hair oil make sure you have conditioner everywhere and I just use my fingers y'all just so it's less Tension again back with my hair oil a couple of squirts one two three four five six seven eight nine ten put it all around and on my hair As you can see my ends are starting to get a little <laughs> <Woo. laughs> Damaged okay, but that's all right. That's all right. That's what we're restoring. Okay, baby. We restoring today This is the shower cap that I have and just open her up. Sometimes I'll just put it all the way up on top so that it, it doesn't fall. Um, kind of like so, and then just twist it around like that. Okay. Alrighty, y'all. So I'm gonna just leave this on for maybe an hour or two. Honestly, I just leave on conditioner for as ever long as I have the ability to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have stuff to do today at like one o'clock. It's like maybe 9:30 or 10 in the morning or something like that. So I have a little bit of time to condition my hair. But if there's like something I didn't really have to do, honestly, y'all, I'm gonna be real with you. I will put a hat on top of the shower cap and I will wear my hair conditioned all day. And that's usually what I do. But like I said, like I actually have somewhere to be in like an event and stuff like that. So I have to do my hair but i'm gonna come back for part two and show you guys why it's a three-step process okay bye but don't forget to come back okay you're gonna miss it for real it's important Alrighty, y'all so it's been basically like an hour a little bit over an hour since i have deep conditioned my hair and i'm about to rinse this off well i'm actually about to wash this off my head so this is the shampoo that i am using it's just this olive olay no olive oil y'all <laughs> I'm thinking about this store. Okay, anyways. I'm using this olive oil hair ship. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I took a nap. <laughs> and so my brain, like, is just restarting. So just bear with me. But anyways, I'm using this olive oil hair shampoo. It works very well. It has aloe and everything in it. It's okay. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit over here and say that this is my favorite shampoo. But it is a nice shampoo to use. So if you haven't already, I would definitely recommend trying this. So I'm gonna wash my hair in the sink so I can show you guys. But make sure you guys clean your sink because you do not want nothing. No food up in your scalp. No my cheese all through your scalp. So make sure you clean your sink out first. This is just Clorox disinfecting. Come on now. Excuse my outfit, okay, baby? Y'all supposed to see from the top up. Alrighty, so I'm about to take this shower cap off and wash my hair. Make sure you guys get a towel and everything for your hair. Don't forget to get a towel. Disinfect the sink first. Oop. Let me turn my alarms off. Y'all, I was really knocked. <laughs> I'm about to just rinse my hair out first. This is what my hair looks like. If you guys were wondering, texture-wise, okay? So this is what my hair looks like. For step two, which is the step that we're currently on, y'all, you guys wanna wash your hair with hot to warm water. Hot to warm water. I 
I haven't added any shampoo to my hair, y'all. I literally just rinsed all the products out. But now I'm going to add a shampoo and make sure that I thoroughly wash my entire head at least two to three times. So I'm going to start with the perimeter and work my way around. But I'm washing my hair again. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Okay. Whew. You just want to lightly towel dry your hair. Now you guys can see what my hair looks like when I first, when it's freshly washed. So this is what my hair looks like. After you completely wash your hair, what you're going to go do is get that packet again that we had used earlier, y'all, and we're gonna use the rest of this packet on our hair. Now, I know you probably like, girl, you just deep conditioned your hair and washed it. Why are you conditioning it again? That's doing the most. Ain't nobody finna do all that. All right, you don't have to. The reason that you want to recondition your hair after you wash it is now basically what I'm doing is I'm co-washing my hair, and I'm doing this because when I use that shampoo, that shampoo just strips so much life out of your hair like and I can feel it honestly y'all like the conditioner packet and I'm just using the rest of it and I'm just putting it all throughout my hair I want to make sure that my hair is oiled properly that's why I use the oil and then I use the condit I mean and then I use the shampoo if you do not shampoo oil out of your hair it's gonna look awful when you flat iron it it's gonna look super greasy depending on what type of hair, hair text you have and I'm gonna actually just let this air dry now you are more than welcome to put a shower cap back on and you know per heat you know plastic bag whatever you want to use to keep that moisture into your hair but I'm not gonna keep this on but maybe a couple minutes alrighty y'all so it's been about 10 15 minutes and now I'm about to rinse all the conditioner out of my hair but this time y'all I know I said to use hot water when you had the oil and everything in your hair but this time you want to rinse your hair with cold to warm water you really preferably cold you know what I'm saying because it's going to seal the ends and stuff and seal in the moisture opposed to just stripping the conditioner and then it'll be like pointless because all the conditioner is going to be stripped out of your hair Make sure that your water runs clear and that all the conditioner is out of your hair. It is extremely, extremely important to get all the conditioner out of your hair at this point because now we're going to be blow drying and flat ironing our hair. This is what my hair looks like after it's been washed, conditioned, and everything. And this is the curl pattern. Let's get a toy, yes. Yeah, get into it. Sorry about that noise, y'all. I honestly do not know what it is. But anyway, so this is what my hair looks like, freshly washed, freshly everything. It look crazy. So anyways, it's very, it's decently soft. It's okay. It's pretty soft though. So, okay y'all, so what I'm gonna do first before I even blow dry my hair is I'm taking this hair oil that I had earlier that I used and I just want one squirt. And this is just because I do not have any heat protectant or anything like that. So instead, we're using hair oil. Like I said, y'all, you do not need a lot of hair oil. Especially for me, my hair, y'all, if I put oil on my hair in two days after flat ironing it, it's going to look stringy and it's nasty. Y'all know how stringy hair be. Ugh. So I'm just kind of putting this all throughout my hair. Again, just a light, light amount just so that my hair can stay moisturized and not too dry once I add all of this heat on it today. And then the blow dryer that I'm using, and I actually use the Chase Method when it comes to blow drying my hair. So I have this ratchet brush that I'll be using, but it's my go-to brush, so we're gonna use her. And then the flat iron, I mean the blow dryer that I have. This Andes, 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 I don't know. Andes Ionic Ceramic blow dryer and it works very very well i love this blow dryer you have the heat settings here and then you know the speed and everything like that i'm gonna probably fast forward this because i know nobody likes to see and hear the freaking blow dryer y'all 
so my entire hair is blow dried now I'm just gonna let it air dry just a little bit because I want to make sure that it's a hundred percent blow dried it's really important that you make sure that your roots are blow dried as well because before you put that heat on your hair it's gonna be sizzling baby you do not want to have your hair any type of wetness damp anything with moisture we don't want so make sure that your hair is 100 percent dry first see y'all my hair looks crazy like it looks super super crazy but whatever i really want to have like a natural hair growth journey that's kind of like what i'm on right now i really want to grow my hair back out and make sure that it's full and healthy and just everything all the way around so it's a process but gotta start somewhere now so for the fun part so we're going to be flat ironing our hair use whatever works best for you clips whatever you gotta do get it got it good already y'all so before i blue dry my hair i put like a squirt of oil in my hair now i will not be putting any more oil on my hair i would recommend that you guys use a heat protectant or some oil of some sort i know my hair and i know my hair tight like you know what i'm saying my hair gets very oily it gets very greasy so it doesn't mean no justice or it serves me no purpose to put additional oil onto my hair before i flat iron it and stuff i should have a heat protectant but Y'all see what I got going on. And I ain't even tell you guys what flat iron this is. This flat iron I've had for years. The freaking name literally rubbed off. I'm gonna have to try to, I didn't even realize. I would talk or have like a little shake shack, but y'all, I ain't got nothing to talk about today, honestly. <laughs> I'm just thinking about finishing my hair so I can get to my little destination. Y'all feels me. I'm gonna fast forward through this part, y'all, but basically you guys see I'm just flat ironing my hair, double, I forget what this is called. Basically, I, I double pump at the root of my hair or whatever. And then, you know, I just just kind of glide through and then go back with the comb and everything like that but i'm gonna fast forward this part and i'm gonna listen to my music because you girl trying to camp out i'll see you in the morning final results go something like whoop i didn't finish so y'all i had to go and get dressed real quick because i told you guys i was on a time crunch i ain't gonna lot but i am about to finish flat iron my hair let me take my jacket off but most of it is flat ironed as you can see it's just a couple sections left so but i really do hope that everybody is having an absolutely 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 amazing day today y'all thank you so so much if you guys are still watching this video thank you guys so much for supporting your girl it truly does mean a lot to me and it's pretty lit that you like want to see me because like i want to see you you know what i'm saying so i'm glad that the universe bras together today i just want you close to me y'all if i could sing the thing is i could sing decently like you know what i'm saying i ain't, I ain't gonna say me in a deal you know what i'm saying i ain't but you know what i'm saying i could hold a note shit you guys know i'm such a advocate for encouraging everybody to be their unique selves and do what you're passionate about you know what i'm saying so i don't want to say that there's nothing that i can't do but if i was a little bit better at it i guess i would say i would really really love to like just sing and perform like i feel like that would be so much fun Now, of course, you can style it however you guys want to style your hair, however you want to bump the ends, do whatever you want to do. My hair is very, like, uneven, and it's not, like, really layered or anything, so it looks, like, kind of crazy. But if you have, like, a really cute haircut or something, like, it'll look super cute. Once you're finished flat ironing your hair, so, yes, this is what it looks like. Like I said earlier, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support you guys have been giving me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of our family. And press the notification bell so you guys know when my next video is out. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I hope everybody has an absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing day. Keep being great. Keep being original. Keep being true to being you. I love you. I appreciate you so much. And I cannot wait to see y'all in the next video. Bye.